Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. And I have these smart LCR tweezers on my desk today. So this is Alien Tech LT1. And these are quite unusual for LCR tweezers. I've tried these sort of products before from other companies and they measure resistance, inductance, capacitance, hence LCR. Usually have an auto range which should auto detect the components. Tends to confuse small value inductors with low value resistors. But other than that tends to work quite well. And these will measure diodes as well. So these are really meant for working on surface mount devices, surface mount PCBs, measuring various components. This one is slightly different because it has some extra features that I've not seen on LCR tweezers before. Just before we take a look at this, let's have a look to see how much these cost. And we see these on the Alien Tech official store, 34 euros 39 cents. That includes VAT. If, like me, you're not in a VAT area, that's deducted at checkout, or at least that's what happens for me. So I get about seven euros off that, so about 27 with free shipping. Now let's have a look at the tweezers. And we have user manual. As always in Chinese and English. So we can see measurement ranges here. So from 10 milliohms to one ohm. So this has a very low resistance range actually. It'll be interesting to see how well that works. Up to 10 megohms. Capacitance from one pick of farad. Again, be interesting to see how well that works. Up to 25 millifarads or 25,000 microfarads. Inductance from one micro Henry. Okay, but the automatic range starts at five micro Henry's. If you choose the inductance range, it starts at one micro Henry. And we can see the same with the capacitance range. It won't go below 50 picofarads on automatic, it will on manual. Okay, but where this gets quite interesting is it has a buzzer mode. That's continuity. Okay, so continuity buzzer for short finding. Frequency sweep. This is not exactly a frequency sweep like it generates a sweep, for example, to feed into an audio amplifier. This means it will go through the various test frequencies. You see there's four different frequencies in turn and it will give you the reading at each frequency. Voltage. So this is a voltmeter. Okay. But before you get too excited, there are some provisos there. And it's also a signal generator. That is interesting, okay? To me, certainly. Let's leave the manual alone now and see how intuitive these are to use. So here are our tweezers. They come with the ends already on. They're quite rigid, actually. Some are very bendy. There are spare ones. Let's see, are these the same? Are these replacements? Are they different? No, from what I can see, they are spare replacements in case you bend or break one. Yeah, look basically the same to me. Okay. And a USB lead. This is for charging the tweezers, but also these have a hold mode on like you find in the multimeter you press hold it holds the readings and every time it holds a reading it puts that information into a cvs file which you can load into a spreadsheet or similar and look at on your pc so the usb lead is both for charging and downloading the data let's see are these charged Yes, they came with some charge in them. Voltage, signal, sweep, settings, LCR. Yeah, so those are your various modes we have there. Okay. These, actually these fit quite nicely into your hand. I like the way they've designed this curve thing. So it sits there quite nicely. If we left-handed, well, the display flips over. You can actually disable that feature, by the way, if you so wish. And lock it in one orientation or the other. 
Okay. Let's see how we get into the various options. Yes, yeah, so these take us backwards and forwards. Okay, how do we get into settings? Quick press. So you can set it to display ESR. That's equivalent series resistance. EPR equivalent parallel resistance. That's leakage, basically capacitor leakage. Or you can display both. You can set the start screen to start on whichever you want. Okay, I don't remember that. Bleep volume. I'm going to set this to high. So you guys can hear it better. It is quite loud actually. Backlight level. Auto power off. Yeah, this is the auto left right thing. Parameter menu. Switch this on. And set back to the factory settings. Okay. And the user manual. A long press on this button brings you back to the menu. It automatically saves the settings when you exit the menu. Okay. Right, let's try the LCR meter. So this is set to inductance. This is the hold function. Yeah, the button above the menu, obviously diode mode, auto, resistance, capacitance. Okay. Let's try diode mode. Yep, diode shows you the voltage drop and it shows you the polarity of a diode on the symbol. Does that reverse? I think it will do. Yes, so the symbol reverses depending on the polarity. We'll try a shock key diode. Yeah, 0.14. All the way. So there's no bleep. It doesn't have the Mr. Bleep function. But it does have a buzzer. Oh, look at that. So it bleeps on continuity. That's quite nice, actually. I rather like that. Okay. Let's try some capacitors. So one pick of Farad, it says, is the lowest that will actually read. So I'll change it to capacitance range rather than auto for the low value. Yeah, 0.9. That's accurate, actually. Okay. Yeah, pretty good, that. Let's try something quite big, 3,300. 3.68, 3.76, okay. Interestingly, if you short them, it goes to 8.7 millifarads on the short. Yeah, 3.7, that's pretty good, that, and quite quick, actually. How about some low value resistors? So, if you watch the channel, I always test multimeters with these. These are. 0.22 ohms times 2. So from here to here is 0.22 and across the pair is 0.44. Okay, so we'll go to... Actually, let's try it on auto range. It'll be interesting to see what it thinks. Oh, look at that. 215 milli ohms. This works really nicely. Go to resistance range. Uh, you will know, guys, the number of multimeters I have reviewed that will not read these resistors accurately. That is really good. That's surprisingly good, actually. Let's try some inductors. So these are one micro Henry. Quite a small inductor, that. Okay. 0.8 micro Henry, 0.6. I'm not sure how accurate these are, by the way. But that is pretty good to me. 100 micro Henry. Yes. Here are some larger inductors. I've noticed that unless you have it fairly vertical, it doesn't effectively change the right and left handed thing. 
So he's given us there 640 micro Henry's with the series resistance of 181 milliohms. Okay, and Q 214, 239, I'm wandering around a little bit. I'm interested to see how that compares with my ZTDQ02, which is a pretty accurate meter to be honest. So let's see what we get. 635.9, that's at 1 kilohertz. I'm not sure what I had the other one set to. In fact, it's on 10 kilohertz actually. So we'll put it onto the same. 637, that's damn close. Yeah, and that's using Kelvin probes. This is just tweezers. These are marked plus and minus, so I will observe that on this capacitor. But in actual fact, we're going to try it both ways around and see what happens. So let's look at ESR. So RS 55 milliohms, okay. That's at 1 kilohertz. 10 kilohertz, you'd expect it to change. Uh, 50, okay, a little bit lower. I'm just going to try the opposite polarity. I don't think it'll make any difference. Not really. Okay. While we're here, let's try the sweep. Okay. So this, yeah, look, it's going through the different frequencies. You can see that. Okay, let's go across our capacitor. So we can see, and that obviously makes sense, the SR changes with frequency. Although I'm getting completely different readings now. Probably not making a very good contact. Let's just make sure we get a good contact. Okay, yeah, that's more like it. I'm not totally sure how useful that feature is, but we have it. You guys... Let me know what you think about that, okay? Hold in to get back to the menu. Voltage. Now, this is why I say this has a certain proviso, because you can only measure voltage between minus 5 and plus 5, okay? For me, for what I work on, that really isn't particularly useful, and I'm a bit concerned what would happen if I use it in the voltage range on boards with more voltage, yeah. But for a battery, looking see. I now have the positive to the negative and it's really minus, so maybe this is why we have them. So 3.33 volts on the battery, okay. I'm not totally sure how accurate that is either, but I'm sure this will tell me. <laughs> you know what, 3.2 now, so 3.3. And while we have this on the bench, let's look at the signal generator function. So again, hold this one in, move into the menus. Okay, signal, short press. So frequency is one kilohertz, square wave, you can see the high and low voltage. Duty cycle, let's see what this scope thinks. And I'll do this simply by clipping the cable onto here. Okay, and we go to scope mode. So there we have it. One kilohertz. One point zero one kilohertz. Okay. We can change the waveform here. So we have square, step, triangle, and sine. The sine wave generator, the maximum frequency is 100 kilohertz. The maximum for the other waveforms is less than that. Parameters, we can see the voltage here, which is the amplitude. We can change that so we can come into the various menus here. This is how we change the frequency, the amplitude, and so on. 
while on settings the test voltage for the LCR meter can be 0.1 of a volt, 0 0.3, 0 0.6 or 1 volt so again we can change that as well as the frequency and you'll see that in actual fact although I've now come out of the signal generator we see a sine wave on here this is actually the test signal coming out of the tweezers look so 100 hertz 120 1 kilohertz 10 kilohertz the signal generator we may be able to use this like a signal injector pen for audio circuits that might be quite interesting I don't know if there's some limitation on the voltage if we do that so in a live circuit like an amplifier so if you use a signal injector pen you generally that has a capacitor on the output that prevents any DC coming back into the signal injector pen this may do the same thing but I'll actually ask Alien Tech about that can we use it for such a purpose and I'll let you know in the comments to this video so yeah I like that this is an interesting device I've never been a great lover of LCR tweezers what I like about this one it's very good with low value resistors better than my multimeter basically saves me getting out the LCR bridge or the milli ohm meter which is also a kelvin probe meter so that i do like capacitance down to one picofarad yep good and inductors down to one micro n meter yep good so the lcr meter i think works really well i didn't show the automatic range you can see that it doesn't go down to such low values in auto range but it is very fast on these I've seen other people playing around with them and I will tell you that very fast on auto range the voltmeter function mm, to me not really useful because of the extremely limited voltage range and the signal injector or signal generator okay this is generating the same sort of signal levels as any other sort of signal generator really I'm just not sure if you could actually use it like a signal injector pen you may have to stick a capacitor in series with it to do that yeah but I will find out the bleep on short I really like but come on alien tech give it the full Mr bleep feature yeah like you did with the multimeter because that would be really really useful for something like this in my honest opinion okay could we with a firmware upgrade another reason I like this is the user interface like everything alien tech that I have looked at the user interface mm. is so simple to use it was very intuitive well done for that so yeah I do like that actually I do like that I haven't used any of the other tweezers I've tried I've tried a few if I'm gonna use one I'll be honest with you this would be the one I would want to try so yeah you may see me giving this a go in actual fact it's certainly a cheap way to measure low value resistances and the better news is we're going to give one of these away not the one i have in my hand right now but a brand new one from alien tech so on the 26th of december we're going to have our christmas competition and you can win one of these you can win one of the t90 soldering irons and you can also win the DM40A multimeter, which is very similar to this one, okay? If you're interested in winning one, have a look at that competition. It opens on the 26th of December on this channel, and the prize draw will be on the 4th of January on the live stream. But you don't have to be on the live stream to win. We'll do the draw live just to show this is completely fair and above board, but I'll also announce the winners on this channel okay so let me know what you think about that i rather like it you can see how much it is maybe you'd like to buy some nice little christmas present and the last thing i will say i've just realized this is the most comfortable one of these i've held but i will have to switch off that auto left and right hand thing okay hope you enjoyed that i look forward to seeing you all soon on learning electronics repair ciao for now guys